universe amazing, but so are you. You know what this is? This is a one-celled amoeba. This is the amoeba that the Darwinists say we all evolved from. You heard of the theory of macroevolution from the goo to you via the zoo? <laughs> this is the goo. Or from the infantile to the reptile to the crocodile to the gentile? <laughs> this is the infantile. Now, in Darwin's day, that amoeba was thought to be a very simple, simplistic, little blob of protoplasm. It wasn't anything too complicated. Maybe it could have come together by natural forces. Today, we know otherwise. How do we know otherwise? Well, in order for me to explain it to you, let me take you to your breakfast table. How many people in here like alphabet cereal? You like alphabet cereal? Let's suppose you're a kid. You want to have a bowl of alphabet cereal? You come downstairs one morning to have a bowl of alphabet cereal. You get to the kitchen. You see the alphabet cereal is knocked over and on the placemat, the letter spelled, take out the garbage. Mom. <laughs> what are you going to assume? The cat knocked the box over? <laughs> Earthquake shook the house? No, you're going to say that's intelligent design from an intelligent being. Mom. Right? Or let's suppose you're laying out on the beach one day and you look up in the clouds and you see drink Coke. What do you assume? Unusual cloud formation? Wind coming from the north? Oh, it's cloud evolution. No, you immediately go, I don't see a skywriter up there, but there had to be one. Why? Because that's intelligent design from an intelligent being. Natural laws don't make messages like that. Well, Natural laws don't make messages like that, and I hate to tell the, our evolutionist friends this, but they don't make messages like DNA equal either. DNA is a four-letter genetic alphabet that every living thing has. You have DNA, I have DNA, a banana has DNA. And DNA can communicate information much like the English alphabet can communicate information. It only has four letters. English alphabet is 26, but it can communicate information. And it commu communicates an incredible amount of information. It communicates information just like take out the garbage mom. But it's a lot more complicated than that. The question is, how much information in DNA is in a one-celled amoeba? What I'm about to tell you is not from a Christian. What I'm about to tell you is from Richard Dawkins, one of the most vociferous, ardent evolutionists out there, the man who wrote The God Delusion. Well, in his previous book, The Blind Watchmaker, Richard Dawkins admits that the amount of information in a simple amoeba, so-called simple, is about equivalent to a thousand complete sets of Encyclopedia Britannica. A thousand complete sets of Encyclopedia Britannica. I don't have enough faith to believe that that resulted by natural law. I mean, to believe that that resulted by natural law is like believing that the Library of Congress resulted from an explosion in a printing shop. <laughs> I don't have enough faith to believe that. It takes more faith to be an atheist than to be a Christian. The, li the first life requires an intelligent cause, and all subsequent life requires an intelligent cause, too. I don't have enough time to get into how incredible you are. You know how many cells you have in your little toe, for example? Give you a visual. Just look at your little toe, ladies. Your little itty-bitty toe. You know how many cells are in there? The number of cells in your little toe are about equivalent to a house, a com say a 3,000-square-foot house, filled from floor to ceiling with little baby peas. Each pea representing a cell. You know how much information is in each cell? 25,200 page books. In every cell. I don't have enough faith that that resulted by natural law. <laughs>